Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Automation Empire. And I have been here for a little while, as you can tell by uh, the budget there, and uh, the some research is some I have spent some too. Uh, one of the things I spent the research on was getting the drones going a little bit faster. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I got a second time on the trucks, and things are actually moving pretty good. Uh, the numbers. We're getting close, 4,700, but I think this is about all we're going to be able to do with this setup. As you can see, the iron's all out. The coal is, well, it's not out, it's being maximized. The gold could be processed a little bit faster, but that's about it. Uh, as far as the research goes, I oh, hope the second one's done. Uh, we do have 47 there, 48, 40, 30,000 there, and this is coming up to 32 as soon as it gets more gold. Uh, which is okay, uh, we are going to need some research because the next thing we're going to be unlocking is the combiner. Because what I want to do today is I want to start getting steel going. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing, and I'm going to actually pause this right now just because, you know, well, we're going to be spending money, but we'll be making money pretty quick here too. Uh, what I want to do is get some extra research going. Now, I'm not too worried about pro research the, the process stuff. Uh, as long as I'm researching it, that's all that matters. Now, i got five coal nodes here. I'm going to actually get into uh, three more researchers over here. Uh, so we're going to do that. Uh, we'll have to set up a small factory for this. Will we? No, actually, we don't need a factory for this because I'm not processing it. It's going to be straight to trains. So uh, let's see. Let's get some miners down. One, two, three, four... I wonder if I should get all five hooked up. It's gonna be tricky to get them all into the same same system. Let's see what we have with these ones right now. I think, yeah, it's offset. Okay, well, let's do it this way then. We'll flip around the other side. Uh, I've decided uh, we're, I'm gonna start, you know, going all out. I gotta move that one. That's in the wrong spot. So uh, X, and uh, I gotta learn my hotkeys. I wish we would actually tell you the hotkey here. I know you can bring this this up, and you can use Q and E to change between them. Uh, but I never pay attention to actually what I'm looking at here, so I always get lost. So I'm doing that just to get containers in. Small containers here, and, and then we're going to do transfer tubes. Now i got to think too, because the rail carts can only move so much. So what I think I'm going to have to do, like, I mean, uh, as far as turning goes, there's only oh that is a one this actually might work okay let's try this yeah because I know there's uh, only so many turns they can make right so these are gonna be going out there that's a uh, wrong spot and that also uh, brings up another thing let's go back over here for just a minute it was pointed out that this I think this refiner here uh, wasn't producing what I found out what it was, was I didn't actually have it hooked up to the tube, I had it set back one. So it wasn't actually producing anything, so there wasn't as much coal going through and the whole nine yards. Uh, needless to say, it's, it's going good. Like I said, the gold, I could get one more in there, but that factory, believe it or not, is one block too short, too narrow for me to get another, another refiner in this setup here. But that's fine, because this is just starter stuff, right? Anyways, let's go back down to here. So I've been thinking about this. I think I'm going to do a, a return loop on this. Actually, let's get our research facility set up. Hang on a second. Sorry, sorry about that. I had an unpleasant tree to deal with. Okay, now I'm just going to put this right next to him. I'm not going to actually have it connected because I don't really care. We do have to get a pole up uh, there. And then we're going to stretch this all the way down to... Here. And I think I'm actually going to try to get my telephone poles or my hydro poles in a little more organized fashion so they're not like scattered all over the place like they have been. 
But uh, when am I ever organized, right? Okay, so from here, we're going to go into here. We're going to take inputs, rotate them around. We're going to go into the buildings. And then what I'm going to do, actually, nope, we're not doing it that way. Uh, this I saw somebody else had done this, and uh, I'm using the idea. I can't remember who it was that actually did this, but uh, what they did is they put a container at the beginning of the facility research here. It doesn't matter because we're not getting enough material in because we're just grabbing whatever we can get off the production line. We're just <laughs> stealing when we can, basically. All right, and then, then we put the inputs here, like so, and then... Uh, what I gotta do is just get a minecart track and I am going to, I think I'm just gonna loop it. Just have it loop back and forth and go from there. So I'll bring you back when the track's done. Okay, that's what I got. So I don't know how many cars I'm gonna need on this. So uh, let's go ahead and start with six, see how that goes. So they're gonna go loop around, they're going the wrong way and they're gonna do their own thing and while that's going we're gonna go in and start getting set up let's see what we're doing here one of four okay so i've been sort of thinking about where i'm gonna get it set up and i want to get basically set up in here uh thinking about having two separate facilities because what we gotta do to what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be making steel plates uh we'll go to wait here uh steel plates steel plates are one of the heaviest things we can make uh, to make the steel plates, we go into recipes here. Steel plates are co iron and coal in a combiner. And that gets us steel plates, which has a pretty good sell value. It's a little less than the coal and the iron together. But that's per crate, whereas that's actually two crates. And that's also higher weight. So we're going to let that go for now. Now, I want been thinking about the roads here now I do want to have a road coming down here and I think we'll put that one in first uh, the only thing that really makes this interesting well I won't say interesting but kind of tricky is you can't place it over here you have to be within another another entrance point so I can't place it here yet I have to have like one here and then one here or over there so I've been thinking about this now ideally I'd like to come down this way and then stretch across with a bunch of truck roads uh, truck stops pit stops whatever uh, but I don't like that's probably gonna hit there actually you know what that might work but if I go here and I get one probably a couple blocks closer let's do that all right then uh, the road is gonna come down here and I'm going to have the exit, I guess right about there, that's where the road stops. I'm going to put our exit, there we go. Can't build there, why not? Oh, too close, that's why. Oh, that won't even go there, okay, so it's going to go over here. Build their exit there, connect the road up. And then I uh, should be able to get a couple of truck stops in here, a couple on there if we need to. So now for the, the warehouse, and this is where we're going to need the money. Like, look at this, I've spent 800000 already, 900000 And I'm building the two warehouses, I'm going to be about half a million. Uh, so uh, over here, I have the three iron here. I got three coal over here. I have six oil, but oil's a little ways away. And I got five iron over here and three coal. So this is why I'm going to get a steel section set up here because I got all this coal and iron. And we're going to get everything pumped into one building, processed, and then pumped into another building and run through a combiner. So I've been thinking about how big I want this. And it's going to have to be at least 12 deep. And I figure I should have enough room to actually get both of them in here. So if I go all the way and then go 12 so it's two three twelve and I figure that's gonna be enough and that's actually gonna leave enough room to actually get another full-size building here so let's leave two blocks and see if I can get a full-size one in here and it'll just fit all right 
So now I gotta start making some money because this is gonna start costing me some, some serious cash. Uh, we do have research. Let's see what we have here. 57. I'm also claim it now because I need half a million to get the combiner. Okay, so for the meantime, I do wanna. Nah, I'm not gonna pause it. We're gonna need some money. Uh, I do have to get some some raw stuff process or not raw stuff process stuff sent out so we can reach our weight our weight output so we can get the combiner. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna do the same thing I've done over there. I'm gonna get all these miners set up and then uh, bring you back when we're ready to get them set up in here. Okay, I got it all hooked up here. Uh, a couple of them were kind of tricky. This one, uh, I actually had to do it this way. I was trying to feed two of them into one tank and then get the other one going in there, but that wasn't working. So what I did is these two have their own tank. This just goes with its own internal supply, but it doesn't matter because it's a really short trip to get here. So that's that one here. we go over here to this coal. Uh, I've got these two going to a small tank, this one going into a big tank. That's how I ended up working out. There's not much else I could really do about that one. And we'll go over here to the coal, and yes, I got all the power going, getting set up. I also found out, too, uh, if you place a power plant down, if it's not actually hooked up with the rest of the grid, it's its own individual grid, because when I placed this, it was only showing the 40. So then I ran poles over to the other one here, and it connected. And I haven't even got any of the machines running it yet, and already I can tell I'm going to need more power. And yeah, I had to sell the warehouse, because, or the, the big factory, because I don't have the money for that right now. I still got to get a road in here. A couple of roads, actually. And we got this one here. We can get some truck stops going on that one. Uh, so that is all, that all set up. So now, what we got to do is get where everything's going to be going. So I got coal there, and coal over here, and then iron and iron. So no matter what, it's going to be a bit of a mess going in here. So what I think I might do is I want to have everything being fed into large containers. And I made this big for a reason, probably bigger than it could have been, should have been, but that's okay. Uh, I do pay taxes on this. Uh, as you can see, it's it's pretty high. It's not as bad now because the big building's gone, but still, uh, we got to start making some money pretty quick here. All right, so I do want to have everything going into big tanks. Uh, I gotta figure out how everything's gonna go in. I got coal here, and I got coal coming in here. Well, it's gonna have to be fed into a crater, anyways. Now let me think about this for a sec. Okay, I think I'm going to do. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, uh, pause for a second and think about this again. Okay. Uh, the reason why I had to think about it is because I actually have two tracks that have got to be connected to each line. Uh, I might also have to expand it to having a second line set up. And uh, I'll show you what we're going to do here. So I think... I think there should be good for that one. I don't know, it doesn't have to be that precise. That's what we're going to do. We're going to switch this around like so. I'm just thinking because I can't hook the machines up and still hook up the tracks. Uh, this track here is going to have to come in from this side. The other one is going to have to come in from the top. So i got to have a second tank coming out. I think I'm going to feed it to a small one here. Oh, let me unpause it. I always pause it. I'm not thinking just because, you know, if I said I walk away for an hour, come back and got $10 million. All right, I won the game, right? And uh, no, uh, AFK is not the way to win. And it was not that t big tank I was going to put. I was going to actually put a big tank for this. Uh, like, so now I'm wondering if I could actually get away with using a small tank for the, the loading. The only problem is, though, is the, the tracks have to have enough room. This one especially over there, because it needs uh, the length. So, yeah, we'll deal with that. And then we're going to do the same thing we got set up in the other building there. We're actually going to do four of those with uh, craters and refineries. So let me get this all set up. Uh, I'm going to have to buy another power plant, clearly, and then I'll bring it back. 
Okay, I'm almost set up here. I've got uh, I've got all the rails running in. I've got all the carts uh, dropping off ore. We actually have a fair amount of iron, a fair amount of coal ready to go. We have it already being processed going through. And I'm just getting ready to get set up to get the claws moving. And we're going to put some truck, stop, some truck stops over here. The problem is, though, is I've been struggling to keep money. Uh, the property taxes are getting a little high, so we gotta start moving goods. So the reason why I brought you back before I finish this is I gotta do something to make some money. I gotta sell these. Uh, these are actually full. We have I should have enough research in all of these to actually get what we need. The combiner. So that's that. Uh, we might as well cl claim these while we're at it. Get us uh, about 580,000, which is good. Uh, uh, we want this one here. Yeah, the combiner. Uh, it's 500,000, which we have, but we're still short on this, which is why we got to get this moving goods. Because realistically, three more trucks over here, and I think we should be able to meet that. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and sell these three. Only 10,000, I thought. Yeah, it should be okay. I might have to sacrifice a couple of loading, sta loading conveyors, but... Uh, that's what we're doing. Anyway, I thought I'd bring you back for that, and I shall return when we're ready to start rolling. Okay, I'm pretty much done. I had to do a lot of a lot of salvaging on our uh, research center here. Uh, I had to take the tanks out, took, took more of the research bays out, took the mine carts off the track, and then I ended up selling the miners just to get the money to get this going. Uh, it's expensive, but it's going to work. Uh, so anyways, I do have everything set up here. So uh, yeah, I had to salvage the line here, but we actually have enough. We could probably get this hooked back up now, uh, just because I got some extra cash. So we'll go in here, we'll make sure that's actually connected to it. Yes, we'll do one there and uh, do one there. Is that the right spot? Yeah. Okay. And that, and that. Alright, so that should be working. Uh, should keep us afloat. Oh, I do have to get more drones. I want to get eight. I'm a little shy on eight. So we're going to have to sell that tank, which I sold anyways. So it's empty, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I meant to sell, a, should have sold the refineries instead of trying to sell the tanks first, because then I can keep the ore. But anyways, so now we go ahead and this is what's going to worry me now. Because i got drones over here and i got drones over here. Now, are they going to be flocking back and forth? Or are these ones going to stay around this area? Or or what? Now, I'm also in a dilemma too where if I don't build the drones now, I'm not going to have the money to do it. So, let's go ahead and place more drones. Seven, eight, and we are maxed out. Alright, cross your fingers. See what happens. So I'll have the truck coming in, and of course they're flocking over here. No! Oh, there goes a the power bill too. Ah, that's a problem with these drones, they all flock. I got no way to actually control them. Oh, there's work to do. See? And now they're going over there, you idiots! I'm an idiot. <laughs> those are drop, those are unload stations. Or load stations. Uh, let me change this. Okay, I changed it. Unfortunately, I didn't change it in time because uh, I was broke, so I had to go and sell the three tanks over here <laughs> just to get that going. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go in the red, but we've got trucks showing up. That's good. Uh, the drones will have to get themselves all sorted out. Oh, look, here they all come. Now they're all flocking over there. Which is why I should be using the truck loader. I don't care as long as these trucks move. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could set boundaries on this. I might actually put that in a suggestion in Steam. Like, this is all you can do with it. Uh, it's not like you can set up a grid around this or that certain drones stay around certain areas, but... See, now they're taking the boxes all the way over here. That's strange. Well, 
I guess I'm gonna do a cut here. I'm gonna let it go for a little bit and see what happens, and we'll continue on. Okay, so that wasn't working out too well. So what I did is I turned those ones off for now. I got all the drones working down here to get the funds rolling a little bit because that was causing too much trouble. Uh, what I'm gonna do because I know I actually have the money for it is I'm gonna actually uh, utilize a claw truck loader. And what I think I'm gonna do, I was thinking of possibly uh, linking two of them together. So I have two like that. I'll have to put another truck stop in my pit stop in here, which of course I don't have the room for. Which means everything's got to move. So let me do that. Yeah, fortunately we got our funds back, so let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I did it, had it moving everything over. I uh, got a little bit extra of money here because I sold those uh, unload stations because they were 20 grand a piece. Well, that's for all I'm put together. So, yeah, I'm going to do two of these. I'm going to have one here, like so, like there. Now, what I want to know is am I going to be able to do this? I am. Nice. So, then what I'm going to do. Oh, that's the wrong button. I'll just rotate like that. It's going to come across like so. And like that. And I think it might actually be worthwhile to have it do a complete loop. So let's open up the factory here. And see if we can get it to connect over here. If that's the case, I could probably get rid of this section here. And cut down the travel time. I'm assuming you can do do complete loops. In fact, can we use the same door? No. I uh, have to spend another thousand bucks. That's fine. And go back to the claw truck. And can I like so? And go up to here. Oh, wrong door. And like so, and there. Okay. So these are all drop-off areas, so I don't have to worry about anything like that. I can get rid of that one, and... Oh yeah, that was a different line. I do the same thing on this side. Okay, so that is all done. So now, as far as claws go, I think... Because this is a shorter route, the other one's longer. Let's go four on here, and we'll go two more on here. And uh, that should work. And these will automatically drop off. So let us watch it in action. Uh, i got to wait for trucks to show up because I removed them. These are going to keep doing their thing. I don't care about that right now. Uh, let's see what our numbers are at. Could be better. Could be a lot better. Have been worse. Now we don't actually have a truck here yet. Oh, I just missed it. So it goes through here, and then goes through here. And I'm wondering about this. Like it has 10 spots there. Does that mean that we get upgraded trucks down the road? Or oh, because I think, yeah, because the trains use silos. They have actual containers that you fill up. And at least we're making money. That's good. We have trucks here. Perfect. Uh, everything's on hold there because we're waiting for trucks to show up. Be nice if you actually had truck driving speed too. All right, this is perfect. This is actually enough for one truck, and I might actually do the same thing here. Add two more claws just so it can fill up a truck in one load. So that is doing its thing. These guys are doing their thing. Uh, this area is full and productive, and moving on. So I will bring you back when hopefully we reach our four thousand or six thousand goal. Okay, things have been a little have been a little rocky. Uh, it doesn't seem to, seem to be a lot of activity over here, but for some reason we're actually going to make this goal by the looks of it. I got four trucks going out. Every time a truck goes out, it's adding two hundred and forty kilos to that, or sorry, sixty, because each one of these is ten kilos or six of them, so it's sixty kilos. So that's eight twenty. These three will do it, and I'll do it just in time for month end, which is good. Uh, this has been, trucks have been waiting here, so even though we're going to do this, I'm going to
pause this because what I want to do is I want to rearrange this, do this a little bit better. I want to add 12 cars or have 12 claws on here so I can load up both trucks at once. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sell this like so. We're going to What is that? Yeah, there's 12 there. I was thinking about extending that, but I'm not going to worry about that. So we're going to take the step conveyor. We're going to turn it like so. We're going to turn it again. Now we're going to take unload, st unload stations. And we're going to go with 12. So that's going to be... That's 10. Yeah, 12. Ouch, that was expensive. Yeah. And then... Oh, and then just bring the claw track over top if I can actually get rid of it I don't think it really matters at that point and then we go like so make sure we're over top of it and we go right to the end and then from here we can just return it back into the the whole track assembly like so get rid of that pickup and place it right at the end. So in that way this thing will fill up in time and I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. And I'll do that off camera and I'll bring you back. Okay, all done. So let's see what happens here. So I got 12 claws on there, 12 claws on here. I have extended both conveyor lines and these should be producing at a fast enough rate because as you can see they're pumping out pretty quick. So that's gonna fill up, well that was already backed up to begin with. Let's see if we can get a full train here. I think we might. Just in time to fill up two trucks too. Perfect. Oh, all the drones are fired. Cole's going to do the same thing too. Cole's going to, Cole's going to take longer to get here because it's got a, a longer distance to go. That's awesome. And 6400. So let's go to our research tree here. And we'll unlock the combiner. So that allows us to get to steel. Now I'm thinking about it like we have a fair bit of stuff coming out of here. We've got four refineries going. So maybe I'll get the steel set up in here. Uh, I do have to check see how long we've been recording. Why is it only. Oh, not producing fast enough. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, but yeah, let me uh, see what the time is here, and I'll be right back. Okay, well, we've got a little bit of time. We're almost at the end, but uh, I've already gone ahead and uh, come up with an idea of what I'm going to do for uh, processing of it, like a, a setup. Uh, I've done, done the math. Each one of these are... What's going on with this one here? Oh, yeah conveyor stop that's why it's not producing uh, the coal is 10 seconds uh, the iron is 11 seconds uh, I've already gone ahead and cheated and I had a look at the combiner and the combiner itself takes nine seconds so realistically one combiner can handle one coal and one iron so I'm gonna try to get it go get four of these set up on here and I've already come up with a, a fairly compact idea of how much set up of how I'm going to do this. i got plenty of money, so I should be able to do this. It is a little on the pricey side, uh, but it's fairly compact and it should work. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start by placing the combiner down. Now, as you can see, the combiner has an input and output on either side. Uh, I do have to, well, I don't have to, but I'm going to try to keep everything in line. i got plenty of room, so I'm going to put this, let's actually start at the front here. Uh, basically, this is going to be here. There's, it needs a connector, and then there's going to be a crater, and there's going to be a conveyor that goes around the back. So I think for well, the resources are also here too. Uh, the input tank is going to be there. So yeah, we, I think we could do it down here. Uh, I already know how this can be laid out, so we'll try to be in the center. Let's see: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, stay on the square because that's where the drawer's got to be anyways uh, so we go oh that's the wrong way we go that way one and I'll put that in afterwards because I want to show you my setup here 
so that's going to be feeding out of the ref nope, not the refiner, the crater, or the crate maker. Okay, so the crate maker, and I should have enough room to do this. So when you transfer pipe, then we go to the combiner, which is going to be there. And then because it's fairly compact, I can actually put this out, the next one in behind it. Nope, not right there. We're going to put it right, right there. Not that way. Uh, let's put the machine in first. That might actually be a little bit easier. Okay, so crater. And then I'm not going to put the other ones in because it's only five blocks, not six. Or five tiles, not six. So, uh, yeah. Then go to, com to another combiner. And then another crater one. Crate maker behind it with one space uh, for the conveyor, of course. Another pipe combiner, and I think I have just enough room to do this. That, that, and with plenty of room to spare. Okay, so now for the fun part and the expensive part, too, because we're gonna need a whole bunch of tanks. So inputs on either side, one side is going to be coal, one side is going to be iron. I'm sure you can figure out which which is going to be which. And yes, I did put that in the wrong spot. Uh, something also interesting I noticed too. It actually says port doesn't output, so you can, it tells you if you can only go in with it. Of course, it doesn't tell you if you place it in the wrong spot or not. So now this is where it's going to get expensive because there's going to be three tanks here. Small tanks, not that expensive. So there's gonna be one there, gonna be one space in between, and then one over there. And then what I'm gonna be doing? Insufficient funds. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of money here because I don't actually need these anymore. So we'll get rid of those. We'll get rid of these. a shame those things are so expensive they're fast and I hope I have enough to actually do this because now I gotta build six more I'm gonna be a little shy I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice some cash somewhere hmm what can I pawn well not pawn you know what I don't need that many drones I got 24 of them even 16 was doing fine, so that'll do. All right, so we'll get back over here. We'll get another tank in like so. So what's going to happen is this tank is feeding out to these tanks. Ah, put that in the wrong spot again. So, yeah, in, in, or out, out, and out into there. And we put an intake here. And now the rest is all conveyors. Oh, I gotta do it down here too. Uh, we'll have to do a conveyor splitter, so I'll show you that. Now, uh, these input, these inputs and in, uh, transfer tubes will not work on the unload and load stations. Only the step conveyors. So as you can see, I can go ahead and place it underneath, no problem. But a load station, no, because it doesn't work. It's only meant for drones and stuff, uh, but that's also how it disposes of the crates. So what I want to do is we're going to go and I think that's an anchor, uh, turn your piece, that one's fine. Uh, I'm going to go like so, and yeah, I want to do that, and what I'll do is I'll put, be putting one of these here, and then we'll stretch this one. I guess we'll have to do it like that to there, and then at the end, uh, yeah, we'll just put it on the load station. And what happens is when the crate is empty, it destroys it. And then I do the same thing here. Uh, one other thing I gotta do is I gotta switch this to skip every one. So we'll put one on this conveyor, leave the one, and of course I did forget one piece of the puzzle. So let me get the other side uh, connected, and then we'll 
oh yeah, and then the unloads, yes, we'll get this, show you this, and then I'll get, get it taken care of off camera. Uh, I was going to do... Yeah, I think I'll stick with this uh, four. You know what, let's do five, just because I'll probably end up... If I could do six, I would. The reason being is just for the, the trucks, because I can't... Oh, I'm not going to be able to have two sets of claws running on the same track. I'll have to use separate tracks, which means they can't share the truck stops. So two will have to go to one, two will have to go to the other. Or maybe there's only going to be enough to supply two trucks. I have no idea. Uh, we'll actually test that. Could even have one claw dropping off at one spot and two sets of claws picking up. That may work. Anyways, uh, yeah, so my idea is basically going to be that with uh, some unload stations. It was going to be originally four just because it's cheaper. And uh, with the amount that these produce, or the speed that these actually produce at, it shouldn't be too bad, but uh, we'll see. So it's going to be like that behind all four. So I'll let me take care of that and I'll be back. Okay, after selling a couple more tanks, and uh, I didn't sell anything else. Uh, I sold those three other tanks that we had over down here for the little research facility. But yeah, so I got it all set up now. Everything is all connected. I got the unloaded stations and all that stuff. All I got left to do is just run the claw track. Uh, there's a good chance that if this is productive enough, I might be able to get six across this way and then uh, have one set of claws of 12 come across here and then this way and then back and then the other one this way and that way and back and that's almost an idea except for the fact that I don't exactly uh, have the money because uh, Hydra's about to go out and that's going to be 70 grand uh, I got no trucks on this side going out I got a couple going out here but that ain't going to cover the bill and I still got a big claw truck in The steel does sell for a good amount of money, though. And at least if I get this side running, making money, that should be good. So what I think... I think I'm actually going to try the, the two here. Unfortunately, I can't get that six going this way, but I got one, two, three, six. So yeah, I get six here. And they'll actually work out. Uh, let me see if I can scrounge up the cash for that. Let me be right back. Okay, that wasn't going to work because this one and this one are going to be blocked because of the tank, because of this connector here. So that's out of the question. So what I am going to do is I am going to just get both sets of claw tracks running through here. And uh, one will be on this one, one will be on this one, picking up whatever it can and go blowing up to the trucks and I'll bring you back. Okay, I did a... A little bit of rework in here. It actually, it looks pretty good. I tried to get everything sort of clustered together. It makes it a little more neater anyways. So what I've done is to make things sort of uniform, these two over here that are further away are picking up from these two here. And these ones here are picking up from the back just to uh, sort of even out the times a little bit. So then all I have left to do is put a pick up there and a one there and then couple more there and then I think that's all I have left to do except for put trains on the clutch track and since well I had 12 on there before so I'll do 12 anyways and uh, yeah I'm having many problems too what else is new wait a minute oh that's why I didn't see them I've trying to figure out why I didn't have any trains. Okay, why is it still saying 10 there? There's those ones. Oh, I guess I put them back on. Or claws, I should say. Oh, I missed a conveyor there. Okay, and I know it's working because I did have some plates on one of these lines already, so uh, 
see what happens here. Yeah, one every nine seconds. That's good. So that means that, oh, I forgot to change this. Skip every one. And yeah. So that should be that one. It's going to skip that one and then it's going to grab that one. And that one. Okay, so that is running. Let's see how long it's going to take to get everything produced. What's going on with you? Oh, not enough resources. Uh, I do believe this thing has to fill up, possibly. Oh, wow. Okay, this has a buffer. I gotcha. This one's filling up. Why is this not boosting? Oh, my bad. And I'm broke, too. Uh-oh. Let me see if I can fix this. Okay, uh, I got it set up. But look, we got steel going out. Hooray. I also got to start researching that stuff, too. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, a full train. Look at that. Two trucks of steel going out. Nice. That's going to help our numbers a lot. Oh, this is actually working. I'm hoping that's going to be more profitable than the iron and coal we were doing there. 7,000 already. Nice. See, and the drones are uh, they're keeping up. What's going on here? Which one is that? I don't know, it's the gold. Yeah, the gold takes a while. It takes uh, 13 seconds. So, yeah, anyway, uh, keep that up. So, I'm going to let this run for a bit, and I'll be right back. This seems to be doing pretty good. Two trucks going out, another two there getting picked up, another two coming back. 16,000 for each truckload. 16,370. Uh, there does seem to be seem to be some sort of market that goes on with it. I think, yeah, so uh, supply and demand. The more you ship out, the lower the price gets, which is fine. Because it's money. It's actually good because this was a waste of money up until now. Now, where is this claw? Okay, that's coming back, and... not going to have any trucks waiting. I think that might be the next thing to do for the research. Let's actually see how much that's going to cost. Another question. See, they don't... Oh, yeah, they do have claw speed. 50,000 for claw speed. Should we claw speed or truck speed? Truck interval. Let's do that. Just because the goods are there, we just got to get more trucks going. The drones, well... I might just leave this as it is, as uh... Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Look at that. Oh, wow, these are really piling up. Cool, actually it does five. I'm wondering if this one here is still a conveyor. So if I change that to an unload, then maybe I can get six on there. More efficiency. Let me try that. Okay, that seems to work. Now my theory with this is uh, these five will keep rolling if there's something on. This one will move until uh, it stops moving. This won't be able to move onto there because this is full. So that gives me six. So I'll pick it up, and in theory, by the time the train gets to the end, that sixth box has shown up. And I picked up the extra one, but yeah, it doesn't matter. So that should be, that would be the reason why I had the one truck sitting there with two crates empty or missing. So uh, again, let me let this go for a little bit and I'll bring you back. All right, well, so far things are doing 
Okay, uh, a couple of things we could use is uh, a little more speed on the claws and probably another interval on the trucks because I have seen the, cl the claws come back empty or or whatnot. But so far the timing's pretty good. Uh, we're definitely getting more than what we can use. Uh, but I'm thinking at this end here because we definitely have plenty of resources here. Like even it's not quite building up here, but. I'm almost thinking maybe being able to get a second factory coming off of this side. Because we don't have to worry about this keeping up. That's not a problem. In fact, we're actually starting to get a backlog in the combiners themselves, which is always a good thing. Uh, but yeah, we've got enough room here for another big factory. We can actually get a full size one if we need to. Which would be 20 by 20. Oh, can't quite do it there, but can do it here. There we go, 20 by 20, that's the biggest we can do. Uh, taxes on that would be crazy. Yeah, look at our finances the last, the previous month, which is this whole period here, was 316,000. And basically what happens is every quarterly, you get your, uh, yeah, every quarterly they take money off or something. I'm not sure how this works. I think Hydro comes off of here. Uh, I've been seeing like sixty, seventy thousand dollars going, but not like two hundred. We'll find out right here. Eighty thousand. Seems about right. But look at that, we're almost at eight eight thousand now. Uh like I said, the claws probably could use a bit of an upgrade for speed. Let's uh see how much that needs to get an upgrade out of here. Another fifty thousand. That's what we're going to do, because we got to start researching steel anyways. And we do have a little bit extra here. Might be able to sneak in here and borrow the odd crate or something. But I think that would be a good time, a good thing to do in the next episode. As we're running quite long now. I wasn't intending to go this long, but at least we have steel going. It is automated, and I love how the, the containers get destroyed at the end. You want it to go over, it gets sucked up, the anti-container goes down, and it's gone. Because these can only have so uh, these can only have so many crates active at a time, and that includes everything on the conveyors and on the trucks and all that stuff. But there we go. This the steel works. It's uh could be running better. It's definitely outputting a lot more than I was anticipating, but it's doing its job. Making me money. Anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always. I'll see you in the next one. Later. Ooh,